like a woman who's a six or a seven is getting so much attention in this era, you would think that they were a 10. Like the attention that somebody like a Grace Kelly got, a six is now getting in this era because of social media. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about beautiful women and how they know their worth, okay? So I see so many guys, all right? You meet a woman for the first time, you think she's beautiful. Problem is you think you're the only guy who ever thought she was beautiful. That's a, it's a logical thing that goes on in our brains. I don't know what it is, but so many guys will just see this one woman and be like, she's the one, she's the one for me. I'm gonna be with her. I'm chasing her down, I'm texting her, I'm following her. It's like, buddy, you're probably one of a thousand guys trying to do that at this very given moment. Like that entire day, you're probably the 700th guy to think that she was the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. You know, that entire day, and it might only be four o'clock, 4 p.m., you might be the 56th guy to go up to her and ask for her number. You know, you might be the 7,000th guy to look at her, walk past and be like, damn, damn, damn. It's, it's normal for beautiful women to have options, okay? And so many guys forget this. So many guys forget that these beautiful women have had this for a long time. All right, so a girl who's 18, probably since the age of 14, based on what ex-girlfriends that I've spoken to and friends have said, they've had men approaching them. My ex-girlfriend was really like thick and curvy when she was like 14. She said that even like teachers were trying to hit on her and stuff like that, which is disgusting. Right? I find that crazy. It makes me not want to have kids and send them to school. But she said that men would come over, she'd be walking home and she'd have school uniform on and men would come over and still talk to her, right? Which might just be pedophiles. But she said it was consistently like teachers that were married to older women would just stare at her body when she was in class and stuff like that. Like when she was just standing at a certain angle and that's mental. But you've got to think the average hot girl has probably had that kind of attention since she was 14, 15, 16, when her body begins to develop. You know, guys started t uh, treating her differently. And guys in her year at school, you know, younger guys, they, she's the hottest one in the year, you know, that shit. So by the time she gets to just 18, she's had four years of experience of being the hot girl, as long as it lasts, you know. If she's a late bloomer, sometimes you can catch these women, right? So sometimes women have insecurity issues. I'm not saying you should prey on them, but we all know a woman who is a straight 10, who's only recently become a straight 10. She doesn't really realize it. She will very quickly, but sometimes I've seen, you know, uglier guys or guys with low value jump in there, get a relationship, but she'll soon fly the nest, right? She'll soon leave when she realizes her value. But so many guys don't realize that these women know their value and they know it fucking well. Like you cannot go up to a beautiful woman and be like, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen because you're probably the 700th guy, like I said that day, who said the same fucking thing to her and it goes through one ear and out the other, it's meaningless. So when people say, oh, I know how to get, I can get any girl I want. I just say this one line. It's like, buddy, every guy is saying that one line or trying this one technique or uh, this one thing on Instagram. It always works. I always get replies. It's like, yeah, you might get a reply, buddy. But these girls who are at the top, who are the most beautiful, the attention and feedback that they're getting every single day in real life and on platforms like Instagram and on platforms like TikTok, it makes it makes them know their worth. So they know how high they sit up that ladder. And because they know that, there's a barrier to entry that no words, no approach, no clothes, no nothing that you do can get past. You know, that she, let's say she's a straight 10, all right? After four or five years of being a 10, she's, she's definitely figured out she could land a billionaire. She could land a famous guy or, a, or an athlete or something like that. She knows that. She's got that in her head, okay? I'm at this top level. These other guys are at the top level. I can get somebody like that. I'm lucky, I'm blessed. Whatever it might be, she might think it's God-given. That's up to her how she decides she's gonna get there. But she knows that she can get these top level guys. Like I said, you coming over and being like, you're the most beautiful woman in the world or I'm gonna get this girl, I'm gonna try hard and dedicate. You will waste a lot of your time doing this because these women have a picture in their mind of who they wanna be with. You know, they have any option on the planet. They can go and pick the guy who's got million followers, perfect body, is rich as fuck, you know, and has everything that she's ever looked for. Or an entrepreneur, business owner who's French, who moves under the, you know, under the radar. Nobody really knows who he is, but he's like worth, 
200 million. Like she knows she can get that. She can get somebody like that. So she's not going to worry about the 900 men per day approaching her and saying, hey, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You know, the traditional shit. She knows her worth. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I don't want you wasting your time chasing after these most beautiful women if you're not even in the raffle. You know, you, you, can, you cannot physically even buy a ticket because these top, top, top level women, they won't reply. They'll smile and say, hey, and move on. Like, they won't remember you in two minutes, but you'll be remembering her for five years. Like, they're so high up this ladder and they know that because of the feedback they're getting on a daily basis that they know their worth. Like, never forget that. A beautiful woman knows her worth. And just because you've seen her today and you've gone, wow, that's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I'm going to approach her. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to take advantage of this. You're not the only one who's thinking of doing that. You know, and it's not going to have any effect anyway. You know, might you might get lucky, who knows, but it's not going to have the effect that you hope it's going to have. Because this is what so many guys do. They see, oh, beautiful woman. You know, she's my dream girl. I'm going to chase after her. You're the 50th guy in that shop alone that walked up to her and said something. Like, never forget how many options these girls have. Never forget how many options the most beautiful women have available to them. But also, never forget their perceived social value. Like, they know where they sit on that on that ladder. And you could be the best-looking guy ever, perfect body, etc. And she might take your number. But it probably won't lead to anything if you're not in a position to then back that up with the rest of your life. Okay, so I'm talking about stuff like success, ambition, etc. So unless you are the complete package, probably don't waste your time. Like a lot of guys will catch them on the decline. Like when a woman gets to maybe 35 and she used to be the hottest girl around, they'll date them then because they're kind of like a backup option that she knows is familiar and they can go and get married, have kids, whatever. And he, oh, I married the most beautiful girl. Eh, Technically, you didn't. You know, you got her on the way down. It was an aging product. But so many guys will do that. They will, you know, focus in on that one woman and dedicate everything to getting her. And two or three things will happen. They'll waste all their time, all their money, and they'll get their heart broken when she doesn't want them. She goes off with another guy that you end up calling a douchebag. Why does she want him? It was pre-decided, guys. There's a pre-raffle and there's a barrier to entry. Like she, imagine there's like a team of mini herds, like little leprechaun versions of her. And then every ballot that comes through, so your name written on a piece of paper, no, no, throw it out. Like they're doing a fact check before it comes through. And only certain guys will make it into that pool of acceptable men. They have high enough social value to be entertained, to be considered even as an option, to even be considered. You have to think, okay? If a woman is a straight 10, one of the best you've ever seen, and you want her, you go and approach her, you start talking to her, she's, yeah, whatever, I'll take your number, whatnot. You got lucky, you got the number, okay? Around about, let's say, a thousand men might approach this woman per day. If she has a full day out in an environment, you know, a busy place, maybe New York, she'd probably get close to a thousand men that'll say something or try and approach. Out of those, out of those thousand, maybe, law of averages, maybe 20 could, pro- could possibly get a number. Out of those 20, she maybe replies to three. And out of those three, she maybe goes on a date with one, maybe. You know, and that's the kind of pool that you're talking about, one in a thousand that even gets a date. And that's just because they fit the criteria. Like three managed to fit the criteria. 10, she thought did a good job. Three fit that criteria. One was the best out of the three. She'll give him a date and see what he does, but he makes one or two mistakes. She has the ability to leave because she has so many options. She can just bounce. So instead of worrying about all that shit, instead of wasting your time and money chasing after these women and thinking that you've got to get that out of your head, guys, you're not the only guy who's trying to do this. Like you're one of a fucking million that wants to sleep with her that night, all right? And you're one of 50 that saw her in that shop alone in that 12-minute section. Like just forget about it, all right? Don't even go into that game. Like, don't even enter that game, that realm, until you've built your value up to a certain point because you won't even be selected for the raffle. Like, your ticket isn't even in the fucking ballot box. And even then, even if you are, you don't want to chase. You know, like I always say, upgrade yourself until what you want chases you. Never chase what you want. It's my favorite quote ever. Never chase what you want. Upgrade yourself until what you want chases you. What if you want tens and stuff like that? You have to accept. You have to drop your ego. You have to accept they have a barrier to entry. 
they have a barometer which is the top 5% of men. And they won't even consider anybody else because they know their value. You have to drop your ego and understand a girl might be on OnlyFans earning 90,000 a month. I've seen this, okay? 90,000 per month. Imagine the attention she's getting and the comments she's getting and the thirst she's getting and the money she's making. She goes on Instagram, 4,000 likes, OnlyFans, 1,000 men saying you're the hottest, have money because you're so hot. She walks down the street, she gets every man staring at her. She gets approached by 100 guys per day, asks for her number 100 times per day. That's going to go to your head at some point and she's going to understand, like success for a man goes to our head. So that level of success, that is, that is success for a lot of women. They want to be desired. That they see that as successful. You know, we see these women that take pictures and they're like, hair long, butt thicker, life's good. You know, they like that sort of shit. They like to be desired and be seen as attractive. That's a good year for them. If they got thicker and their hair, their hair became thicker, you got to remember that, that they're valuing themselves on very much looks and they, that's how they value their social value. So they're like, if I'm a 10 in the female world, that means I can get pretty much any man I want okay, well, I'm not going to waste my time with Timmy, John, and Steven. Like, I'm going to go for fucking top-notch, top-level guys, and they'll work their way down. All women will do this. They'll kind of go, okay, I'm, I'm hot. I'm super hot. Okay, I'm like the hottest. I'm going to try and fuck Drake. You know, they'll try and go right to the top, and then they'll scale down based on, and then they'll find their level. And what you've got to do as a man is you've got to forget about chasing them because they're looking up. You want to be up where they're looking. You don't want to be below that chasing and going, hey, by the way, like pulling on their coat like a little menace. If you want these top level women and people will tell you to say this, to do this, if you want to attract the most beautiful women, you know, you see all these articles and videos. I'm going to tell you the truth, guys, because I don't want you wasting time and money. And I always tell you the truth because I'm authentic and I'm not trying to sell you a fucking course. But all these guys out there will say, and I'm not saying travel bum, absolutely, I think travel bum's a killer, like this guy's figured it out, he's fucking nailed it, he's getting some beautiful women every single day, but a lot of other pickup artists, and that's why I had him on the podcast, it's authenticity, and I said that to him, but a lot of pickup artists and other guys out there, they'll say, oh, here's how to attract tens, and it's like, realistically, how many tens are you actually attracting, because I'm telling you, you won't even be, no matter what you do, what you say, if a girl is at a certain high enough level, won't even pay you attention, won't even pay you the time of day, pay you the mind to even say hi back. You know, she might just go, oh, and just move on. Like, you, you've been forgotten about it in 15 seconds. You're the, to you, it's like, oh, she's a bitch. Why'd she do that? What's wrong with me? You're the 60th guy that's just done that along that road alone. Like, you've got to drop the ego and just think, okay. So the only foolproof way around this, the only way in history that you've ever been able to attract the most beautiful women is to upgrade yourself until what you want chases you. You've got to put yourself in a position, I'm not saying become a billionaire, right? Because it's just stupid. But like a doctor or somebody earning 100 grand a year could probably land a woman like that, all right? That's reasonable. She might go above that first and scale back down, but it's reasonable. A guy who owns his own company, who earns 180,000 per year selling, let's say online courses, like I said, right? something like that, 180,000 per year, or selling stuff on Amazon, but makes 180,000 per year, has nice assets, has upgraded himself, been in the gym, you know, straight seven across the board with one or two traits bridging into a 10, maybe body, maybe intelligence, humor, something like that, okay? Two of them are in a 10, the rest are in a seven. That guy could get a 10. To be honest, a guy with a straight seven could get a 10. But you just have to position yourself above these women in terms of social value with things that they want. Like, never forget that women love assets. They love collecting things like hunters and gatherers. We're hunters, they're gatherers. They like assets. They like to collect stuff. They like to, they like to have stability and a foundation in life. Like, those things get them going. If you're a guy that has all that in place, that has his own house fully paid for, has his own car fully paid for, is an intelligent, mature man who dresses well, smells good, etc., is in shape and healthy, she's going to look your way. And it's the only foolproof way to get these women is to rise above them so that they look up, not down or along on the same level. Because like I said, guys, drop the ego. They know their worth. They know their social value. You have to understand the mind of a beautiful woman, like a woman who's a six or a seven is getting so much attention in this era, you would think that they were a 10. Like the attention that somebody like a Grace Kelly got, a six is now getting in this era because of social media. 
you've got to understand that a 10 is just off the chart. Like, they won't even check their DMs because unless it's a blue tick. Like, unless it says Champagne Pappy, they won't even open it. Like, it's just every single day, okay? And then when they're out on the street, it's just hundreds of men looking and talking to them. I stood outside this shop once waiting for my girlfriend. And there was this girl along the way. She must have been, like, Spanish or something. Real beautiful girl. Unbelievable body. And I waited for about maybe 10 minutes for my girlfriend. I think seven or eight guys approached her in that short space of time. That's great. And the amount of guys that didn't approach were still looking and they wanted to, but they didn't have the confidence to do it. So that's it's probably something like 15 guys that would have approached if they were confident enough. That's like less, that's like quicker than like one a minute. It's crazy. But she was just binning them off. It's like every 30 seconds she was like, no, sorry. And then the next one would come along, come around the corner, see her and be like, my dream woman. You just got to put yourself at a certain level, guys, because that day game when you're approaching them is probably not going to happen. You know, if you're going up to a 10 and you're like, hey, I'm going to say this one thing and I'm going to get her, even if you are like some billionaire businessman, she probably doesn't know that. Like, it's very hard to convince her. It's very hard to do. You know, if you manage to get the number and she finds out a little bit more about you, then it might work. But usually these women, because they know their worth, they chase you. They'll find you. Like I watched a video the other day of Mike Thurston and he was like, oh yeah, this girl jumped in my DMs and now we're dating and she was a really good looking woman. And it's like when you get to a certain level, they will they will come and pick you. They will headhunt you. Like that's what these hottest girls do. They know their value. They know their worth. They know who they know that they could date any man on the planet, right? So why let these guys chase them? Like they know they can do a sniper approach and go, him, he's my perfect man. DM, message, talk to, you know, approach. Bang, got him. Like Lyra Galore, I remember she said that she kind of headhunted Rick Ross. She used to visualize it, but she was so hot she could do it, right? And she ended up being with Rick Ross. Like these girls just headhunt who they want. You know, if they want Drake, they're probably going to sleep with Drake at some point. If they want to be with a guy earning a quarter of a million a year, running his own business, works from home, has time for her, she's hot enough, she's going to get that. Like they're pretty much going to get what they want any time they want. Understand that, drop your ego, get to the top, and then these girls start chasing you and headhunting you and doing that sniper approach for you. But that's just the hottest ones. That's like the sum eights, but nines and tens. Nines and tens will do that consistently, especially the tens. Everything, like if you, if you want to go, if you want to get with a seven or eight because you think it's a better viable option, then do it. But if you really want to go to the top in life and take all those women, like I always say to you guys, 36 is the male advantage. If you got to like 32, 34, 36, like around about that bracket, 38, 40, whatever, and you are in that like 30 to 40 zone, especially 36, as a guy who's made it, who's done what he wanted to do, like accomplished all of his goals, and you believe that you've got that high value and you are in the top 10% of men on planet Earth, which isn't actually that hard a bracket to get into. You know, when you actually look at the big picture, it's like 150,000 plus, 100 grand plus, I'd say. If you get in that bracket, they will come and headhunt you. They will come and sniper you. Like I said, guys, it's so much easier to do it that way than chasing them. Because what I don't want you guys to do is get fooled by a lot of these courses online. And here's how to get beautiful tens. Here's what they want from a guy who's never slept with a 10. And what you'll do is waste time and money. And you'll chase them and you'll get your heart broken and all this other shit. And then you'll end up with a woman that you didn't want to be with. The only option is to go rise up to the top, get your social value up there, let them chase after you.